Alright, hi everyone, welcome back. We are on problem 11 of the first semester final for Math 1 student. Okay, number 11, solve for x. Negative 12 equal to negative 6 plus 3x. Simplifying your answer as much as possible. So, um, what I'm going to do, give me one second. Let me clear up the bottom one so I can guess, like, start from that. Okay. All right, so first you're going to draw the line, okay? You want x by itself, right? So we need to get rid of the 6. You want x by itself, we need to get rid of the 6. 6 right now is positive. You have to do the inverse operation. Sorry, 6 is now is negative, so you have to do the opposite at at 6 on both sides. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. It's gone. You just have 3x. And on this side, negative 12 plus 6, opposite sign you subtract. That will give you negative 6. Okay. And to get x by itself, this is 3 times x. You have to divide 3 on both sides. And negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Equal to 3 divided by 3, cancel out. It's just x. x equal to negative 2. Uh, technically, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1x one is just x. All right, we're going to do number um, 12. Click. Um. All right, number 12. Now it's look more interesting. Um, you have the parenthesis. What does the parenthesis stand for? What does it mean when you have parenthesis? Take a second. What does parenthesis mean? All right. If you say parenthesis mean multiply, you are right. Okay. First, draw the line. This is too thin. We're going to multiply 3 into parenthesis. Okay. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 6 is 18. Then we bring down the rest, equal to 14, and this is negative 7x plus 3x, okay? Then after we multiply, we're going to combine like term. Who are like term? We're going to add them together. Negative 7x and positive 3x, okay? They both are like term because they both have x. The sign are different, mean that you subtract. That will give you negative 4 x. 7 minus 3 is 4. 7 is negative. 7 bigger number and negative. So the answer is negative 4. Plus 18 equal to 14. Then we solve for x by do the opposite operation. This is positive 18. You have to subtract 18 on both sides. Positive 18 minus 18 cancel each other out. Leave you with negative 4x equal to 14 minus 18 is negative 4. And then continue solving for x. You're going to divide by negative 4 on both sides. Okay, because this is multiplied, so you have to divide by 4. Then x alone by itself. And on this side, um, negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. I didn't write 1x equal to 1 because 1x basically is just x. All right, that's it for number 12. Number 13. Okay, number 13, you have inequality sign. So in a way, it's like an equation, but they have some additional rule. Let's say, um, like, if you multiply both sides by a, multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality sign. Okay, actually, uh, I'm about to write this question bigger. Um, let me see. Negative 3 over 8. That is too big. Yeah, it's okay. Negative 3 over 8y minus 10. 
less than negative 19. Please do not turn your inequality sign as equal. They don't have the same meaning, and you will end up with the wrong answer if you do that. Okay, we're going to solve for y, so we're going to add 10 on both sides. We do the opposite operation. Okay, negative 10 plus 10 cancel each other out. Will leave us with negative 3 over 8y on the left side. Inequality signs stay less than negative 19 plus 10 is negative 9. Okay, really, really common mistake. When people see the negative answer here, they flip inequality sign. Nope, we only flip inequality sign when you multiply or divide by a negative number. All right, now we're heading to the next one. Um, to get rid of fraction, this is a division. We're going to multiply denominator on both sides. We're going to multiply 8 on both sides. That allows you to cross out the 8, leave you with negative 3y less than negative 72. All right. Again, we don't flip the inequality sign because you multiply by a positive 8, not negative. Okay. Next, we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Then y, sin, we divide by a negative number. We divide by negative 3. You have to flip the inequality sign right to the opposite direction. That is less than, now you flip into greater than. Negative divided by negative is positive. And 72 divided by 3 is 14, no, 2, 24. Y greater than 24 is the final answer. All right, that's it. Number 14. All right, for each scenario below, choose the graph that give it give the best uh, representation. Okay, um, Henry is driving at the constant speed. He slowed down to pass an accident. He slowed down to pass an accident. After passing it, he goes back on his original speed and continue driving at that speed. So we cannot, just by the scenario, you cannot tell which graph is the correct answer. You have to look at your X and Y. What does it stand for? Okay, Your X represent time. The Y represent speed. Okay, Make sure you read those before you choose your graph. What is two things they're talking about? Time and speed. Now we're going to read the scenario one more time. Henry is driving at a constant speed, which means it's constant. It's not faster, it's not slower. The line will go straight because we talk about speed here. Okay, Constant means same speed all the way. Then he slowed down, so the speed is decreasing. This is sideways, and then the speed is decreasing. After he passing it, slow down for to pass an accident. After passing it, he go back on his original speed and continue driving at that speed. So he go back. So it has to be uh, go faster and then stay still with the same speed. So the graph A, the first graph is the correct answer. Second graph is wrong because this speed is increasing through time. Okay, so it's already wrong. He stayed the same speed. So stay the same speed. This is correct. But then they say slow down, but this one is increasing in speed instead of slow down. So graph two is wrong. Graph three, same reason, is increasing. He is not in the same speed. All right, continue uh, number 14. Ali is hiking toward toward his uh, campsite at the constant space. At a few miles from the campsite, 
he see a snake and then turns around turns turns and runs the other way minutes later he sits and read for a while all right so um ali is hiking okay so we're gonna look at the x and y um information your x is represent time your y is represent distance to the came site it's not about speed it's the distance to the came site so he is certain distance away from the came site he go into the came site so the distance get closer and closer all right now we're going to look at the problem Ali is hiking toward to his campsite at the constant speed. Okay, he walking at a constant space, a few which mean that the distance decreasing consistently. Okay. A few miles from the campsite, he see a snake turn and run the other way. So he sharply turn and run the other way. A minute later, he sit to rest for a while. So, which mean that the time go by and the distance doesn't change because he sit and rest. So, he walk to the campsite. So, the distance is decreasing through time. He saw a snake. He run the other way around. So, the distance is far away because he run backward. He, he run to the other direction. So, distance is go farther and farther. And then he stop and rest. So, time go by, distance doesn't change. Okay, um, the campsite asks the if you choose graph number two because of constant pace, so it's constant speed. This stands for distance. Distance doesn't change when time go by. This is where he stopped. It's not a constant speed. It's not about speed. So this graph is wrong. Okay, this one distance to the campsite. Time go by and distance far away. So he didn't walk to his campsite, he walked away from the campsite. So this is wrong. Same thing here, he walked away from the campsite, that's why the distance is farther away, instead of getting shorter. All right, so we're heading to number 15. Okay, 15 is about domain and range. Domain is X, range is Y. You know what the next problem is also domain and range so i'm gonna keep this for the next video okay so we're gonna stop right here um, for number 14.